Well, welcome to another week of the progress we're making here in the barn conversion that we're doing in mid Norfolk on the farm. And things are progressing quite nicely, as you can see, we've still got some platforms up. Woodwork is being applied around the window recesses and they're being dressed. Decided to fill around the windows with uh, wood as opposed to plasterboard. Just think it's going to be more robust and longer lasting. And because that's going pretty close to some of the old brickwork, we thought the plasterboard may absorb more moisture from the soft external Norfolk brick dressing that this barn has. Most of the windows are in now. We've got just one to come on site. The little recessed alcove on the star brickwork feature at the top is just being put in place. And we're going to paint the back wall in a dimity to match the, the wall colour of the woodwork and the external frame for just to lighten it up I think that's going to be good we're getting some second fit electrics put in this week let's just go and show you what's been progressing with the electrics we're getting some sockets put in place we really have put a huge number of sockets into this what is going to be a freestanding kitchen area we're not entirely certain which pieces of furniture are coming in during the week we went down to the cabinet makers to see the progress being made on the large piece of freestanding furniture that's going to sit on this wall in the scullery and that's progressing nicely it's being made in three parts it's going to fill most of this wall with a large sink area centrally utilities to the left and an open storage area just behind a curtain on the right little window recess had to be cut back down because they got the alignment with where the window ended up slightly out of place but the wooden framework going in nicely around that I'm going to paint all these again in Farrow and Ball Dimity walls are now emulsioned this is Dimity and we have covered the parchment line wash with Dimity line wash from Farrow and Ball we've decided to timber frame or clad the lower part to around 190 on this wall, dropping down to around 150. So it will just go under that beam. The other progress that's been made, the floors are completely down now. We've got this stone flooring yet to be grouted. Most of it I can't show you because it's being protected by the polythene as we work in here. The other thing that's happened this week is the log burner has been partly installed this is a massive eight kilowatt eco stove that's encased in a stone like material or composite material that retains heat it acts effectively as a huge night storage heater it's not been installed fully yet because this one's going to be vented externally and the external venting kit didn't come with it so we're waiting for that to be delivered sitting almost in situ where it's going to sit on this brick plinth and I think it's got the scale to carry this room quite nicely it's a beast of a log burner I'm going to love it or hate it but it really is going to chuck some warmth out into this room so it's between eight and nine kilowatts total power output when that's going it's got a lovely big firebox we'll do a separate video on this when it's commissioned about the fitting and what we think of it once we've got it in operation. They're supposed to heat a five bedroom house this, so hopefully it's got the oomph to give some power and a warmth into this big volume of space we've got going above. Electrician's gonna actually be putting some lights up for us on Wednesday. The old garden room's now been plastered out. It's a little dark through here because the last of the windows is still not in situ. That's gonna be transformational when that does go in. But this has now all been plastered, ceiling's been replastered, and we're ready when this dries out to start putting a slip coat on. I'll prep it down with a light sand and a slip coat of 50 50 paint and water. We've still got some drying out to do. I think this might be a little bit of a problem area for us, just looking at how slow this area It's the old staircase going up through the Tudor cottage. And just the way that's not drying, I suspect what they've done is plastered over lathan lime plaster and that's what's retaining the water in this area and that may react and not be a good thing at all. We will, I'm 
crossing everything and hoping that that resolves and dries out but it's the last bit you can see where it's been put on the modern material plasterboard the insulated plasterboards it's dried out much better there is still an area that's the last bit to do just going around the corner there that's still to dry so maybe it's just a, a moisture thing and it will resolve itself i do hope so windows gone in the new shower room we've also got progress in here with the insulation going into the ceiling and that's been plasterboarded and they've, by the look of it, prepped the joints, almost ready for plastering. But we're waiting for the plaster to come back one final time when this is all dry lined. It's going to be done in cement board so that we can tile it. Still got the old external wall to the barn showing here. I'm going to put some steel ties across those walls just to give them a little bit of structural improvement. I don't think it's going anywhere. They've been sitting like that for around 300 years. Really looking forward to seeing some lights and second fit electrics going in here. The view, exactly the same as last time we showed you it. Two diggers sitting in our cutting garden. It's all looking very lush out there at the moment. I am so looking forward to this long view when we get all this woodwork painted. The lights in. We haven't seen it in artificial lights at all yet. And the colour really is going to be the big thing that we've got to reveal really in terms of where we go with this colour. We're very happy with the fire and ball dimity that we've got this wall painted in at the moment but it does change colour in different lights and the lime wash again on this wall is hidden now the damp area but we've decided to bring boarding at around 1.9 metres right the way around this wall and wrap it onto the end wall where it will drop down to 150 just below the beams just to cover up the worst of the damp and what the damp causes is the lime not to dry out and then we're getting salts coming through. So I think it's always going to remain extremely delicate and a problem area if we don't board it. And I think by doing so, we'll get a much more acceptable cosmetic finish rather than taking the risk of hoping this dries out when we get it heated. Because while the weather's quite good at the moment, we're running around 21 degrees here in the UK. So this isn't a cold area by any means and it's well ventilated so I think it would have dried out by now if it was going to. So that's where we're at with the barn. I uh, don't think any work's been carried out outside apart from a bit of carpentry finishing off around windows and putting boards over windows. But as I say the big, the big bit of work that's been done in here that you can't see is the floor is down. And I'm hoping next weekend we are working towards most of this carpentry and second fit electrics being done. And they are going to have the floors completely revealed and mortared in between the, jo the joints so that we can actually get some sealant, some protected sealant down on the floor. We will then put down all this plastic again to protect it because it's still having builders walking in and out. But we really want to look after these stone floors and keep them looking Really uh, superb period, finished and lovely feature.